Zweetians, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with the Not So Berry Challenge. And he is packing up to move out, and he's already packed, so I'm just gonna let him talk to his girl. Um, let's see if he can get our last trait. We'll see if that knocks it out. No. She's a loner and a bro. Dude, you're not doing that. But what you can do is come up here. Oh, I can't do this and I forgot to earlier. Well, he needs more money. So, I guess come and show off muscles and just talk to her. All right, she left. And we're done. We're all packed up. Everything's in his thing. So we are going to move. So we have to live in three different places. And we lived in Dulce Valley. Then we lived here in um, the Foxbury University, which is a world. And now we are going to live Strangerville. Let's go here. And I already have the house built. I just don't remember what lot in Strangerville I built it to go for. So, I can't do it while we're moving, so I have to wait. So, we'll see if it's this lot or not. Alright. You guys get a peek in my library here, everything I've done. And it has custom content. Lots. Oh, don't tell me I didn't save it. I built it and didn't save it. Oh, okay, guys. Give me a minute and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Everything should be there now. Perfect. And it's 84503. He doesn't have enough money for it. Oh. Okay. So we are going to go in here. Surfaces. Table. Cheap table, comfort, cheap chair, I was almost certain I stayed in range, but I guess not. Alright, more, more SimCity loans, we need right over 10 so we're gonna apply for 25,000 all right take out a loan 
because we can't afford it. All right, now you're good. Go here. That needs to go in there. And now we can do it. Furnished. Yep. Now this is not the lot that I built it on, but it is the same size lot. So it should be just fine. And this here is the home I built. Yeah, it fits just fine. So we'll be good here. Let me get it out of night time. There we go. He's the plum gin, so he's got a purple Victorian, which is totally beautiful. And I'll give you a floor plan look of it. So you walk in, you have a big entry area that goes upstairs. You have a sitting room here or parlor, whatever you want to call it. You have the dining room off to this side. You go in the back. You have the family room area. You have a kitchen. And it's very boxy like a real Victorian would be. I wanted it that way. So you have the kitchen here. You have you a little half bath here. Through right here in the kitchen will take you over to a study. Through the study will take you into the laundry room here with some custom content in this house. So and then if you go the other way, it'll take you into the master bedroom with a little closet area here and into the master bathroom. If you go upstairs, it'll take you to a landing here. On top of the landing is a kid's playroom, so there's a playroom here. Then there are four bedrooms, color-coded one, two, three, and four, each with their own personal bathroom right there. Um, two girls, two boy bedrooms, the way it's laid out. But if we need to change the color of something, then I'll just change the color. But they all have the exact same layout. Um, and a picture and stuff so yeah it's simple but nice it's not huge but big enough for him to have a good fa size family with and um, I figured for once in the not so berry we'll have a decent size family and I'm not going to do all the skills and everything they are just gonna be what they are and we're gonna focus just on the air which is the firstborn child. So, oh, no, all of those fails went in there. Um, we don't need the two plates. Um, performance meter insured. I don't know why we got that, but we're selling it. And we'll take this and just set it there. So we can grab it. There we are. And I mean, we don't have room for his cloning machine unless we put it out on the porch. But it does have a nice big wraparound porch. And then just a little backyard with some gardening, but the porch does wrap around outside. Um, I think it's a beautiful home. 
I put a little time and skill into it, so I think it was well worth it. Um, do, do, do. Let's invite over Tiara before it gets too late. Oh, she came over. Invite in. Alright, go inside. I'll put the walls down now. Um, kiss neck. And then I want you to propose. All right, he's proposing. She said yes. He's like, I'm graduated, you're graduated. Let's get married, marry me. We don't know her last trait, but we are going to go with it. So I'm going to bring them out here in the backyard. Well, maybe I should form a group first. Actions add to group. go here together. Let's go out in the backyard over the canyon where there's nature and our beautiful flowers. And hearing the wildlife. Um and let's elope. <laughs> They're getting married. One that beautiful ceremony, Phoenix is exchanging his vows with Tiara. <laughs> Phoenix has taken the first steps on locking a lifestyle. <laughs> Move in together. Yes, we want to do that. Move on in. Sell all lot furnishing. Oh, okay. So, people, person in progress is his. All right, she has moved in. And what is her last trait? She only has two traits. She's glitched. Okay. Well, we're going into cast. So let's go change her outfits. And I will get her a trait. And I'm gonna give her family oriented. And stuff. Um,
Or... Make her childish. Mm, we'll, we'll stick with that one. Fairy tin, that's what I thought it was. You are now a berry tin. And we gave her her trace, so I'm gonna do her outfits and bring you right back, guys. Okay, y'all, we are back. Here is one of her everyday outfits. Here is her second, her formal, athletic, sleep, party, her swimwear, her hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. I mean, I didn't go too in depth. I mean, we live in Strangerville. It's not going to get really cold, so. But Tia needed a makeover, so she got one. Not Tia, Tiara. Just shortening her name all together. Alright, don't go doing anything. Let's see what you got. Blueberry, cherry, charisma, dancing, logic, mixology, comedy, fitness, guitar. You don't have any cooking skill. And you're trying to bake a cake. Well, you're not trying. I think you're doing it. Then you're going to go practice programming. Let's not and say we did. Let's try for a new pirate now. Put the cake back. Really? All that counter space in the kitchen and you're going to walk away and do that. Okay, something's wrong. They should be able to get to both sides of the bed unless that closet is too close. Go here. Yeah, closet is too close. All right. Well, I'll just delete it. There we go. Girl. Romance. Try for new pirate. Okay. Try for new pirate with There we go. I will just help you all out. They have some chemistry. Alright, girl. We don't got time to wait. We want to know. Well, not that. Pregnancy test. What are you doing? I don't want you to resume it. Fine, resume it. Oh, she's fertile. Wow, and she popped out quite fast. Okay, she's thinking a baby. He's gonna go start the cake because it's gonna be Tiara's birthday if I remember right. Yeah, in like two days. So we'll let him just bake the cake and we'll put it in the fridge with candles on it. Is 
long as he doesn't burn down the house. Why are they not using the cabinets? That is annoying as all get out. Add birthday candles. Okay. Use. Um, go to sleep. And then you need to go to sleep. And we are going to get out. Oh, that takes up so much room. There. It'll irritate me sticking out, but you know, it is what it is. All right, I know this is probably going to be a shorter episode, but we're going to leave it here. Um, well, actually, I'm going to wait till he gets up in the morning. First day of summer, oh. Um, come and serve fruit salad, my dear. Because you have no cooking skill. So let you go serve some fruit salad for everyone. Let's see if she will use the kitchen counters. They're using that one. I mean, I use move objects on them. Yeah, and I didn't place anything on them. So they are like totally open. But maybe because I use moved objects, um, they're not functioning right. They're because they're overlapping. We'll have to see. But I'm going to get Phoenix up and get him his career. Because he is 22 days old. He is already a full adult. Alright, come grab a serving. Well, he's so excited about the new half baby. Or babies. We don't know. There's plenty of room. He's gonna come in here. Nope. We're all gonna stand in the small little kitchen and eat and talk. Okay. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna get your job. And then we're gonna end this episode because it's gonna be a little bit on the short side, but I don't wanna start another day and get things going. All right, needs to be the doctor career. Having a relevant university degree means this position will come with higher pay, easier promotions, more vacation days, and a signing bonus. Only one signing bonus can be awarded per sim every seven days, regardless of career. Who doesn't want to be held responsible for another sim's health and well-being? A doctor who can advantage in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with objects like a standing surgical light and a full-size skeleton to brighten up the nurse, the home nursery. To make the deal extra sweet, you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home. And he starts off as a medical specialist making $274 per hour. He works 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and he works Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So four days a week. Excuse me. And he got $1,248 sign on bonus. So what level of the career? Level 8. Wow. 
So he's got to deliver a baby. Well, we can deliver ours. No. Give her a rose. And they're so in love. All right, and she she graduated. And she only got three twelve, but she was in our graduating class. That's so wrong, and she has an F. Oh my gosh. That's because she spent all of her time at our house. And she... He is deeply in love. No, she is deeply in love with him and closer from happy memories. And he's closer from happy memories, growing closer from quality time, and deeply in love. Oh, they're so cute. I don't want to have to break them up, but they're going to have to. But that's for another day. All right, guys. So we will start this off with the next one. And this generation will be kicking in full gear. So until next time, all my Zweedians out there, have a Zweedy-licious day. Bye, guys.